Hello everyone! In this video I will show you a quite simple C-sharp script that allows the enemy to jump over different obstacles when he approaches them. Script will be available by the link in the description. Let's take a look at our scene. Here we have a background game object. Then here are a couple of grass game objects. One of them has box collider 2D component attached that acts as a ground. Then here is a big stump game object. It has box collider 2D component and big stump tag assigned. And here is small stump game object that has box collider as well and has small stump tag assigned. I created these tags here in text section by pressing this little plus button. Finally, here we have our enemy game object. It has a rigid body 2D component with gravity scale set to 2, collision detection set to continuous and freeze 0 rotation. Next, it has circle collider 2D component which is a trigger that detects collisions with obstacles, with stumps in our case. Next component is Box Collider 2D that interacts with ground and helps enemy to walk. Last component here is Enemy Jumps Over Obstacles script that controls enemy's behavior. Let's take a look at this script. First variable is Direction X that controls enemy's movement to the left and to the right. Next one is Move Speed that we can set in Inspector. Then Rigid Body 2D reference goes. Next one is boolean facing right variable that helps to flip enemy sprite according its move direction using vector3 local scale variable. In start method we get local scale first, then get a rigid body component and set direction x as negative 1 so enemy will go to the left initially. In update method we constrain enemy's movement in x axis so if enemy's x position is lower than negative 9 so enemy reaches left side of the screen then direction x is set to positive 1 and enemy walks to the right. And if enemy reaches right side of the screen, then it goes to the left. We just pass a velocity to rigid body in x direction multiplied by move speed. In late update method, we do the checking if enemy's sprite should be flipped. So if direction x is greater than 0, which means that enemy goes to the right, then facing right is true, and else facing right is false. Then if facing right is true, but local scale x is lower than 0, or facing right is false, but local scale x is greater than 0, then sprite should be flipped by multiplying its local scale x value by negative 1. Then we set sprite's local scale as local scale value. Jumping over obstacles functionality is managed in on trigger enter 2D method. It's very simple as you can see. So if enemy circle collider which is trigger detects collision with some stump here, then we check stump's tag. If it equals to big stump, then enemy jumps adding a force to its rigid body in up direction multiplied by 600. And if text name equals to small stump, then lower amount of force is applied to rigid body and enemy jumps a bit lower as well. That's it. Let's hit play and see how it works. Enemy walks from one side of the screen to another and leaps over stumps with different jump force depending on which stump he approaches. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you next time.